Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a quick look at the RacerStar BR2205S 2600KV motor. And this is an updated version of the BR2205 motor that was on my channel a couple months back. Um, pretty much looks the same as the original uh, BR2205. This is a pretty inexpensive motor. I think it's about $8. And I think if you buy them in a pack of four, they even cost less. I think the only thing that they've changed in terms of uh, the motor are these um, hollow shafts here and this little bit of a raised portion here in the in the center uh, to hold the prop down. And I'll bring the um, original over here to, to compare. This is um, over here on the right is the original that had the normal shaft and you can see here this one has the hollow shaft the the s version on the left and they pretty much um look the same otherwise with the exception of, of course of this uh, little raised portion here that i think that grips the prop a little bit better and i think the shaft might be a little bit longer let's see nope same it's the same length from the top of this raised portion to the top of the shaft and see here from the side if you looked at it just from the bell you won't be able to tell it's any different between the uh, old version and the new version and in fact uh, if you look at the windings inside they look the same um, and in fact the motors have the same um, performance in terms of their specs and I'll uh, put a couple of the screenshots for these motors up on the screen now you can see that they're identical uh, so uh, if you have the old motor and are thinking about getting the new motor thinking that maybe they perform better um, they are probably going to perform identically and you can see here in the bottom they have the c-clip so they're the same as well on the bottom uh, something i noticed is that the shaft here is a traditional shaft on the bottom with a c-clip it's not hollow whereas it's hollow on top and I think somewhere in there, and you can't even see it's too dark. And I, I think the this this hollow shaft is mated with a more traditional shaft in the uh, the bottom portion. So I think it just gives you a little bit more strength here at this portion here where the bell is, because um, the hollow shaft is a little bit stronger than the the normal shaft from. Uh, uh, prop these these shot prop shafts from um, bending in a crash, so that I think uh, it'll give you a little bit more strength there in in terms of that. But otherwise, I think the motor is going to be performing the same. Let's see how much these things weigh. So this is the new motor. I took the uh, the nylon lock, lock nut off. This one's 28.76 grams. It's got a little bit more um, motor wire than. This one here I've taken off from a different quad. And this is 26.9. So they're supposed to weigh the same. And I think the difference is going to be uh, attributed to the extra motor wire length here that I didn't cut off yet. But they should weigh the same and they should perform the same. So uh, a question I get asked often is how do these race star motors compare in terms of performance with say a higher end motor and uh, I always tell people that the performance is less but it's not like a ton less um, for example I think uh, for the 2600 kV motor uh, you're looking at about two to I think 250 grams less thrust versus say the Emacs uh, 2205 2600 kV motor on a uh, 4s battery and a 5 inch like a 5040 prop so it is definitely less performance. You're not going to get as much uh, top end power, um, but I think this is a much uh, less expensive motor. It's like less than half the cost. So what I tell people is, you know, if you want an expensive motor, um, say for like a practice quad, or you want to use it on a quad where you could uh, practice stuff where you don't care about damaging the motor or destroying it, then uh, this is something worth checking out because then you could uh, use it and. Uh, <laughs> hurt your pocketbook too much if you uh, end up destroying the motor but they they perform okay and it's good it's good for uh practice and stuff but if you're looking to race these and are looking for the the best performance uh, these are these motors definitely are not it but they're pretty good for the price 
Anyway, guys, uh, it's a quick look at this motor. Put this on a quad and have some flight footage here in the future. Let me know if you guys have any questions on this motor, and I'll try and do my best to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.